Hey, what's up guys? I'm Praetorian and welcome to Hearts of Iron 4 as we're going to be starting a new series today. Uh, so we had a patron poll for who we we're going to be playing with in this campaign and uh, the poll was between three countries, uh, Romania, Mexico, and Canada, as I mentioned in the finale of that Dutch series. And we ended up having a three-way tie, unfortunately. So I, I went to the actual votes to see you know, which patrons had voted for which countries and it turns out that one of the patrons had voted twice. Now, I didn't even know that you could vote twice on Patreon on the polls, but apparently you can. You can vote more than once uh, for more than one option. Uh, so I didn't know you could do that, and that you could do that, and I, and I didn't see an option anywhere to turn that off, unfortunately, for future polls. So I'm just going to have to let people know that you can only vote one time on all those patron polls. And because of that, uh, we're just going to have to, because I can't find out, uh, you know, because I discovered that just today right before I started this series. So I can't find out uh, which one of those two countries he would have preferred uh, he voted for Mexico and Canada. I'm just going to have to not count either of those votes since I don't know which one, you know, he would prefer. And, and obviously we can't count both of them. Uh, so that leaves uh, Romania as the winner, uh, just be just simply because of uh, the person voting twice. Uh, even if he had only voted for one of those, that still would have left Romania tied with one of the other countries. Uh, so, yeah, I would have had to, I would I would have been the tiebreaker anyways. And I, you know, I don't know. I really wanted to play both Mexico and Romania. So if he would have picked uh, Mexico, uh, we might have went with, with that instead, but if he had picked Canada, then we definitely would have went with Romania here. Because uh, I've been wanting to play Romania for a long time. Uh, so pretty much ever since they got the new focus tree uh, on the Death or Dishonor uh, expansion pack. So uh, yeah, it's been a while since I wanted to play them, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to play as Romania, and we are going to do another historical AI focus uh, campaign. So did this in the last one. I didn't really feel like it was very historical in that Dutch campaign, simply because of the, the problem we had with the Spanish Civil War. You know, we weren't able to help out in it, so it did drag out all the way until World War II broke out. That resulted in the Nationalists joining the, the Axis and the uh, Republicans joining the Comintern. Uh, and then that brought Spain into the war, uh, you know, right in the beginning, and it brought the Soviet Union into the war right at the beginning. And that did result in, in Germany having to fight too many fronts and uh, very little chance of winning. And so it kind of messed the campaign up a little bit. So I'm hoping it doesn't go that way this time because we'll actually be able to help out in the Spanish Civil War. So we're going to do that historical AI focuses on, and I rarely do that as well. Uh, so that's another reason why I'd like to do it. Uh, we're going to just tick up everybody once since we are playing as a minor. I did feel that when in the last campaign when we didn't tick anybody up, I did feel like it might have been a little bit too easy. Uh, so let's just do one tick for every country in the world. And you know what? Every country in the world but the United States. The U.S. did extremely well in the last campaign, knocking Japan out very, very early. The U.S. is already really, really powerful as it is, so we're just going to tick them down. We don't need uh, them knocking out uh, Japan and Germany early. And I think everything else we're going to leave as is. Uh, we're going to keep the AI behavior uh, default since we're playing with the historical AI focuses, and everything else will remain on default. And we'll be playing on regular difficulty, and I mention this in every campaign uh, because people ask about it when I, when I don't. Uh, we will not be playing on Veteran Elite because, uh, again, I don't really feel like that's the best way to, to make the game more difficult. I think this is the best way to do it by making the AI better. Uh, by doing this, all you do is uh, essentially make fuel irrelevant for the AI. Uh, and and most importantly, you just make everything take longer. Uh, you know, it takes longer to be able to spend your political power because you, you gain it slower. Uh, longer to get equipment built so you can build units. And longer to get text done so you can pick the next one. So yeah, I just feel like it just makes everything take longer isn't necessarily more difficult it just uh isn't as fun so yeah i don't think that's the best way to increase difficulty so we're gonna play on regular uh so we do have looks like a couple units that are fully trained here so we don't need to train those guys up so we're going to take them out and uh just put them into a different army for right now i think that's it uh, and they do have all their manpower right yeah they do have all their manpower so they won't lose this experience they still are waiting on some equipment though Let's go ahead and put them in that army. Um, this army, let's go ahead and get them training up here. Make them green. A little peasant army here. And start the training. Alright, we'll just let them train where they're at. Uh, obviously, we're not going to war anytime soon. Uh, let's go ahead and get the tech selected. Uh, so, we're going to focus on industrial and engineering techs first. Get these knocked out. Try and improve our production capabilities. As well as our construction. Uh, and then we have, although I do want to get in an early war, uh, we'll get those three initially and then maybe we'll get something different for the next tech. Uh, something give us a little passive bonus for uh, warfare. Uh, for our civilian factories, let me see how we're doing 
Uh, we need more civilian factories, so we're going to start with that. Uh, so let's get a couple of these. Man, all along here has already been built up. Uh, so we got 50% bonus there and a 50% bonus here. We also have a little 60%. percent we will go to build there since that's 60%. And build right there. That should keep them busy for a little while. Uh, we need to get our factories assigned. And got infantry equipment. Okay, so this looks good. We got a light takes building. We'll go ahead and continue building those. Uh, is there anything we're not building? Uh, we can go ahead and start getting the motorized built. We know we're going to eventually need those. So we'll get that. And I want to say that's it. Uh, we will want to get anti-air eventually as well. Uh, but let's first prioritize getting some of this other equipment built out, uh, like the infantry equipment. So we'll get that going. And uh, we're going to need to trade. Uh, they, we are definitely, we definitely do have a shortage of resources. And we're going to trade with Germany. Because I haven't mentioned this yet. Uh, but we are going to go fascist in this one. Well, we may stay non-aligned, but we're going to side with the, the Axis. And that's because I want to fight the Soviet Union. I, th I find that as uh, the Iranians... They're one of the funnest ones to, to fight as because uh, Germany is really far away. And so you end up just fighting here against the Hungarians uh, and the Bulgarians, which we might fight them anyways. Um, I just think that it's it's funner when you when you play as Romania to, to fight the Soviets. Uh, so we'll probably set up a nice defensive line along the river here. Uh, we get a national focus that lets us build forts quicker. Uh, so we won't build forts until we get that. And uh, we'll have to defend, and I'm hoping... Uh, we'll be able to launch an attack across the river and start pushing forward and getting all this beautiful territory over here. Uh, so, and and that will all be in our possession as well since it's on our borders. So let's go and get the uh, national focus picked. Then we'll see what we want to do with those dockyards. So, like most national focus trees, you got the naval, army, and air branches here, which we'll be going down a little bit later. Uh, there's also this branch here, and this is uh, got some really really good bonuses. So we're gonna go down it soon. Uh, as far as these two branches, uh, where you get to pick one, Preserve Greater Romania or Balkans Dominance. So this one kind of lets you align yourselves with one of the three factions. You know, the, the Comintern, the Axis, or uh, the uh, Democratic Faction, uh, the Allies. So uh, it's got some alright bonuses. If we were to go down here, uh, you notice that we get a little bit of fascist support there. Uh, trade relations uh, higher with Germany. Uh, the invite German advisors here is all right. Uh, of course, that just lets us join the Axis, which we could do on our own. And then these ones are just okay, guys. Uh, we don't really need a conquest focus against the Soviet Union. We'll find ourselves at war with them soon enough. And a little bit of extra oil for us in Germany. Overall, it's not a great branch. Uh, it's, it's got a few bonuses. License the equipment to get some bonuses for that. But it's frankly not as good as, as this route here. Uh, where uh, The other difference, too, is if you go down this route, you'll get civil works when you go down this path instead of national defense. So essentially it's research bonus for industry or uh, two extra military factories. Um, but going down this branch gives us claims and war goals, lets us attack our neighbors, get an event here where I think we might get a little bit of free territory if they agree. Uh, we can attack Turkey. So I think we're going to go down this route and then in addition to getting these bonuses here, uh, which, you know, uh, again, you can get war goals uh, other ways as well so you don't have to do it through focuses. Uh, and another thing to consider is that you have to have 400,000 manpower in your divisions in the field, which we only have uh, 251,000. So it's going to be a while before we can get those. Uh, so it doesn't look like these are that much better than this. But another thing that this one opens up is going down this route, which you cannot do unless you did the Align Hunger, the Align Hunger here. So this will give us some pretty good bonuses here. And I'd like to go down this route rather than go down this route. Uh, these ones aren't bad, uh, but I really like the, the Sentinel of the Motherland uh, because, you know, we're going to have manpower problems, and this gives you uh, more recruitable population. Uh, here's another bonus there. Division recovery rate is great. Uh, does give daily democracy support, though, so that might be a problem. Uh, but going down this route, it, it gives you some stuff. Again, mostly just things to kind of help out with joining the Axis, stuff that's, I mean, you can already do. Uh, you do get this, which gives a nice uh, division attack and, and defense on core territory, and then the force abdication, which is equivalent to that as far as what it does but it does take it removes the sentinel the motherland bonus that you get here uh, so it removes that manpower bonus that you'd normally get uh, frankly it's just not as as good as a route uh, so yeah we're not we're gonna go try and go down this route which means we have to go down the balkan dominance and so we're gonna go ahead and start with this one here institute royal dictatorship get that political power uh, we will lose stability uh, but that's okay uh, it will remove the national spirit neutral foreign policy uh, which we have right here, as you can see. This is going to stop us from sending volunteers, more than likely. Uh, so that's why we want to get rid of that. Uh, so we'll get that first. 
And is there anything else we need? Yes, dockyards. That's the other thing we got to do. Uh, currently building a 1936 submarine. Uh, so how many dockyards do we have assigned? We only have one. We're going to build convoys with that one. Because uh, we have uh, 10 convoys. So not much. Not going to be able to do much trading, frankly. Um, huh. Yeah, I didn't even think about like if we'd be, be able to trade for the steel. All right, we were able to trade for the steel. Okay. So uh, let's go ahead and put this up to speed five. And, uh, or excuse me, speed five. Uh, and get our troops trained up. Uh, King's Mistress Purchases Villa. So these are the events that you get here because you have this national focus, King Carol's the Second's lifestyle. You really want to get rid of that because most of these are pretty negative. Uh, we're going to read them. Um, I'm probably going to butcher all the names, guys, so just uh, <laughs> expect that. Uh, Magna uh, Lupescu. Lupescu, that's what we're going to pronounce it as. A mistress of King Carol II has reportedly purchased a new villa in an expensive suburb of Bucharest. How, how she could afford it was a subject of extensive speculation. New evidence in foreign newspapers strongly suggests that the king himself authorized the purchase with government money. The scandal is spreading and we must make a public announcement on the matter as soon as possible. We can say the government has purchased the building and allow her residence, and this will essentially result in us having no civilian factories for building for the next 90 days. Uh, or we could spend the political power and, uh, and still get hit by, you know, a little bit. We'd lose a little bit of our civilian factories. Uh, but yeah, it most, it's basically political power is what, what you're getting hit with there. Uh, so, I mean, we don't really have a lot of civilian factories. But, God, we would want that uh, to get more of these built. So you know what I'm going to do, guys? I'm going to go ahead and, and do the political power option here. You know, obviously we do want to get these filled out uh, in time for the war. Uh, but one thing we're going to have to do is we have to wait to change most of these. We can do the uh, design companies. Uh, but there's a... Here we go, right here. This national focus uh, changes our leader so that pretty much almost all of the advisors, with the exception of the design companies, are 25% cheaper. Uh, so we don't want to fill any of those out until we get that anyways, because uh, it's going to be a lot cheaper. Now, of course, as I said, we could just go with the design companies. And I don't think any of these are locked. Could be wrong, though. Okay, some of them are locked. This one right here is locked. So some of them, yeah, some of them are locked based on national focuses. Uh, but I think, I mean, there's a lot of options that we could go with. And uh, that's what we'll get if we get the political power uh, before we get that focus. Uh, but I don't know now, now that we sit, are sitting in the negative, might not have it. So we're gonna get all these guys trained up and uh, we won't worry too much about, you know, setting up defenses and setting up armies and stuff. We got a, a ways to go before the war starts. Uh, we'll go ahead and get rid of all of our air wings though. I didn't realize we already had some out. Go to get rid of those so that we can kind of design them ourselves. And of course, the Rhineland has been remilitarized and we have instituted real dictatorship. Now, let's just see if there's any other planes. No. Uh, so, in our stockpile, we can see we have uh, 24 fighters. That's what we got. So, let's go ahead and pick a new national focus. And we are going to go with. We're not going to go with that one. And we're not going to build forts just yet. We're going to go with revise the Constitution so that we can. Because, uh, yeah, we can't go down this branch until we've gone down this way, which again does require the manpower there. Uh, so let's go ahead and revise the constitution. This will give us more manpower so that maybe we might be able to build some units. Probably not. I don't think that's going to be enough. Uh, but most importantly, we get the bonuses so that we can buy uh, or, you know, assign, you know, uh, change our laws, change our political advisors and our military staff for 25% cheaper. Uh, so Italy is getting better and better at uh, knocking Ethiopia out of the war. Uh, so I've been impressed with them lately. So what are all these options here that we have available here? All right, we're not going to do any of these right now. Let's go ahead and say we don't need to be notified of them. As you can see, uh, Romania does not have very many decisions. It doesn't have any unique decisions that we can see as of right now. Uh, so that's unfortunate. That you know, Obviously, Romania was done in the expansion that was well before decisions were added. So I don't know if they've added anything unique for them. Uh, I guess we'll see. Uh, let's go up mechanical computing again. Let's try and get our research bonuses up since we are limited to three research slots for right now. Uh, as far as like where in the focus tree the other research slots are, uh, one of them is down this ranch, branch right here. I said down this ranch. <laughs> uh, we no longer get the effects from royal household accounts. Okay, excellent. Uh, so we're not getting hit with that uh, penalty to our factories. Uh, but yeah, going down this route here, uh, you'll see we'll be able to get the research slot. So that's the reason, one reason why we're going down that immediately. So we'll get the fourth research slot. The fifth one, on the other hand, though, is way over here. And it's going to take a while before we get that. It's going to be probably well after the war starts, I would assume. Uh, so we did finish up that submarine. 
So we can go ahead and build up another submarine, but you know what, guys? We need uh, convoys more than anything else. We have, like, no convoys. Uh, so if we want to do any trading, we're going to need those. Uh, just take a look at our fleet. We could go ahead and start training these. Just put them all into one fleet. We have four destroyers and a submarine. <laughs> that's our navy. Uh, so that's why I'm not really concerned about building more. We're just probably not going to be all that relevant uh, in the naval war for quite a while. And, of course, we're doing the Axis. So, I mean, we're going to be fairly limited of what we could do. Uh, we can operate out here in the Black Sea because the Allies won't be able to bring their ships through here. Uh, we'll have the uh, Soviet Navy that we'll have to worry about, though. So probably won't even be able to operate in here very much. Uh, so essentially, the Navy probably not going to do much just simply because we're the Axis. Let's go and start with getting tech bonuses. We're going to get the industrial concerns so we can research those a lot faster. And uh, I, I was tempted to change up to our economy law, but again, we do get that 25% bonus. So we'll wait to do any of those. We got the basic machine tools. Uh, so let's go ahead and get... I think we're going to do concentrated industry again. Uh, I'm not worried about Soviets bombing us. Uh, they don't. They're not going to bomb. They're not going to bomb us, guys. Uh, I'm not worried about the Allies bombing us either. They could. Uh, but yeah, again, I'm not too worried about it. We need uh, as high as factory output as possible. So we're going to get that. Uh, and second, London Naval Treaty has been signed. And what resources are we short on? Just tungsten and rubber. It's only one, so we won't bother trading for it. So our goal for this first episode is to try and get, at the very least, a year through the game. Uh, so I won't stop until we, we hit 1937. Uh, although, well, maybe not, because we're going to help in the, the Spanish Civil War, so that might actually make everything go slower. So we're going to try and help the Nationalists out here. Although, I don't actually know if we can send them yet. I think we need to have it much higher. Uh, let's just take a look and see. Uh, I'm trying to find the send volunteers. So we need it at 40%. Uh, so we will not be able to help, because we are not aligned right now. Uh, until it gets much higher, so we might not be able to help at all, actually. Unless it drags on uh, for a long time like it did in, in the Dutch series. Uh, we got revised the Constitution. Excellent. Uh, so let's go after the Royal Foundation and the research slot that it grants. Make sure we're not training anybody needlessly, which we are. So let's go and pull all the trained guys out. And uh, get them put into this army here. Oh, there's two more. I missed. All right, uh, so most of these guys are just about done. So let's go ahead and pull them out as they finish up. So we're not wasting any equipment on them. And uh, yeah, it looks like we should have them all done here momentarily. All right, let's get these guys pulled out and then we'll pick a new tech. Uh, but yeah, I was saying the goal is to get to the first year. It'd be nice if we get a little bit further than that so that we can get into the war sooner. Maybe episode three or something like that. Uh, let's get excavation here. We'll just have to see. Let's see how far we can get. Uh, I feel I feel like we should be able to get a good year and a half. Uh, I think of the Dutch series, we got almost two years in the first episode, so we'll have to see. Uh, so yeah, let's go and get these guys pointed. We're not going to train any troops. Obviously, we do not have a lot of manpower. Uh, Fifty-seven thousand manpower is just not enough. Uh, so King's mistress purchases a villa. Uh, we just got this event. I guess it just keeps on happening. How many villas does she need? God damn it! All right, so we're just gonna have to give up. Shit, we can't keep going in the negative with the political power, man. Uh, but yeah, I would like to get this done too. The civilian factory here. All right, for right now, we're gonna go ahead and do it this option. We just won't have any civilian factories. We'll have two still, uh, but yeah, that's unfortunate. I can't keep giving up the political power though, because we'll never get any of these filled out. Uh, you know, and I'd like to at least get the silent war course. Uh, that's gonna be 112.5 political power because of that reduced cost. Yeah, I'd like to get that so we can start getting the political power a little bit faster. We can get these uh, other things changed quicker. So we have 31 divisions. As you see, a lot of them are lacking equipment. Uh, we can take a look at our division designs. We don't have any experience to make any adjustments, but we can kind of see how they look. Not too shabby for a starting division design, honestly. Yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, we need to add a few things, of course. Oops, I mean to close that. Uh, we got the mountain divisions as well. We have several of those, and again, not too bad for a starting division design. We got the cab divisions, and then here's our light tanks, which are bad. <laughs> they are not great, so we're going to need to make some adjustments there. Uh, we got our new tech slot. Excellent. Uh, so, again, can't do that option, uh, and we're not going to build forts just yet. So we don't need to go down any of these yet. Uh, so we can go ahead and go with the Balkans dominance, so that when we get our manpower up here, we're only at 251. Oh yeah, that's going to take a long time, guys, before we're going to be able to do either of these. So you know what? Let's not do that then. Right, let's go and work on a different branch. And we'll want to start with the army branch. So let's go and get the army experience. So let me make adjustments to our division designs. Uh, we also got to get our other tech slot 
uh, getting something. And I think we're gonna go ahead and start going get some uh, passive bonuses for our uh, our units in case we're able to get an early war going. Probably not because you do need, I think it's 40 or 50%. Uh, yeah, 50% to justify war goals as not aligned. So essentially uh, we won't be doing it anytime soon. We're at 5%, hopefully the Nationals finish up the war soon. Uh, now, if they do finish up the war, they will get, because we're on the um, you know, the AI historical focuses, uh, they will get that modifier that results in them essentially never joining the war. They do have to finish it first, though, so it doesn't really matter who wins here, because either way, uh, they won't join the, uh, you know, won't join World War II, but I still am rooting for the Nationalists in this one. So as I mentioned, we will go ahead and start with getting the Silent Workhorse just to get the rest of these uh, a little bit quicker. Uh, and I'm, I think we're gonna change up the conscription laws next, guys. Because if, uh, well, we have manpower. All right, never mind. Let me take the back. I was gonna say, if we wanted to do anything, I forgot we did get that, uh, we have that bonus here. Uh, where is it? Right here, the Sentinel of the Motherland. So that did grant us a bit more manpower. So let's go ahead and get some units training up so we can try and hit that 400,000. We're gonna train quite a few units to get that done. Uh, though we don't really have the army experience uh, to, to make any adjustments. We'll just build them like this for now. And uh, we'll just get like, I mean, we don't have any equipment. Looks like, yeah, we're pretty short on equipment right now. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're like really short on equipment. Okay, I had no idea that we were, it was that bad. Well, we'll just go ahead and have them uh, prioritize their reinforcements. And we'll just get uh, these guys set up to, to build once we get any equipment. We'll build uh, three of them. I'm gonna just try and get the, uh, the numbers up here. I don't think we'll be able to do 40 with division designs. Uh, or at least not early on here and have to be like much later in the game. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, but yeah, the equipment situation is terrible. Uh, so we'll just keep all of our factories going into infantry equipment. Uh, get the basics here, of course. Uh, we're no longer affected by that, so it should let us get this civilian factory done soon. We'll get it in December. I got concentrated industry. Anything to kind of help improve our factory output. And let's see what else we want to get. We eventually do want to get radio. Uh, let me see if uh, there's anything that'd be more immediately beneficial to us. Uh, I think we can get engineer companies. Those are in our division designs. So let's go ahead and get those. We also want to get field hospitals though. You know, manpower is such an issue. Let's get the field hospitals now. So if we do find ourselves in a conflict, uh, we lose as little manpower as possible. You know, as minor power, manpower is always the issue. Uh, you can always get everything else you need uh, in conquest and uh, wars you can get the factories you need you get the resources you need um, but what you can't get is manpower uh, I mean I guess if you conquer like China or you know even if you conquer Soviet Union you get a little bit of the manpower and they have so much that even though it's not a core you still go get quite a bit uh, but yeah it's still typically the main limiting factor as a miner so we'll do everything we can to, to help with the manpower situation uh, as far as our land doctrines go I don't know if we're gonna go down one of these just yet, uh, but what I'm thinking is superior firepower might be the best option for us. We could go down Grand Battle Plan as well. Uh, those are some great bonuses for like uh, entrenching and defense. We went down this branch last time uh, in the Dutch series, so I'm not sure if we're gonna go down it or not. We might go down this one, and I wanna say that we might get some bonuses towards that. Let me just take a look. No, it doesn't matter which one we go towards here. I wanna say that I, I could have swore that there was, I might be wrong here though that there is like uh, bonuses for one. Yeah, maybe I'm thinking of a different different country. Yeah, I think I was thinking of a different country. Never mind then, let me take that back. I thought that there was something that kind of, you know, would make us want to go down the other route, but apparently that's not the case. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and get something. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do, um, we already have that one going. Uh, so let's do the, we can do interwar artillery. Uh, I think that's what we're gonna do. No, no, we're gonna go ahead and get the radios. We get that reinforced rate up. All right, we got army maneuvers. Uh, so now let's go down, let's see which one's most beneficial. This gives us a, a free division. Uh, this one let us get army leaders quicker and it, and it gives us a new general. Uh, research bonus for infantry there. Uh, ooh, nice, more recruitable population. So out of these two, we're definitely going down that one. Getting one armored division is probably not worth the recruitable population factor being increased there. So I think that's what we'll do. Okay, uh, so let's go ahead and go after the Army War College first. No, 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 we'll go down the Royal Guards division. We'll get one extra division, and then we'll get that recruitable population. If if we don't have the manpower, yeah, we're not gonna have it up. Uh, we're currently sitting at uh, 280,000. So does that require it be in the field? Probably, 
because uh, I was going to say what we could do is just train them real quick to be able to get this. Let me see if it requires them in the field. Yeah, yeah, it does. All right, so it doesn't matter. Uh, we'll have to, uh, we just don't have the equipment, so we'll just have to wait. Uh, so we got excavation. Yeah, I think we're going to go down Superior Fire Barrel, guys. Uh, so we went down this last time, so that's the main reason why I want to go down this one instead. Uh, but this one's actually pretty solid for a defense against the Soviets. Of course, you get the attack up, which is nice, uh, and then you get more organization, uh, and then you get you'll get the organization here from this branch. Uh, most importantly, the defense is much higher, plus 20% compared to the plus 10% that you get here. I uh, do get the entrenchment though, so that's one benefit. Uh, but overall, I think that this is might even be a better route for us as Romania. Uh, I know that we don't have a huge amount of industry for uh, you know building all the goodies that you're going to want to have when you go down superior firepower, all the equipment. I think it'll be all right though, guys. I think it'll be fine. So the reason why I chose to, I guess we better get something picked here real quick. Uh, we, we're good on manpower now, so we're not going to change this up because uh, yeah, as of right now, it's the problem is equipment. Uh, so what we could do is change from civilian economy and I, I almost want to go ahead and do that, guys. Do like an early changeover. You could also do captain of industry. Um, you know what? I think it's probably best to change out of this, guys. I know it's it's 112 uh, Pluto power that we wouldn't have to spend if we were waiting until we went to war. But our uh, economic situation is so bad, I feel like we have to go this route so we can build these factories much quicker. Uh, as you notice, 30% speed is going to be lost. And then, of course, uh, you know we get more civilian factories. So I feel like we have to go down this route if we ever want to get anything done. Uh, this will result in us get it in the 28th of November. But yeah, I, I felt like going to, to war with the, the Soviets was definitely the funner option here, man. Um, I mean, more than likely the Hungarians and the Bulgarians are going to join uh, the Axis, so we won't get to fight them, which that's unfortunate. I wish we could uh, get an early war with them, but yeah, we're just not going to get the tension high enough. But yeah, I just think it'll be a more interesting situation because we'll get to fight the Allies and the Soviets, where if we were in the common turn, if we did fight the Allies at all, it'd have to be well after the Axis were already defeated. Uh, so yeah, I, I feel like this is kind of the better option, the more fun option, more challenging option as well. Soviets can be kind of hard to, to keep out of Romania. Uh, so this event is King implicated in embezzlement scandal. Following rumors of corruption in the army's procurement processes, the, the king has promised an impartial investigation into the matter. A preliminary report has been leaked to the press confirming not only the rumors, but directly implicating the king's closest advisors in the matter. The entire affair has become an embarrassment to the government. The king demands action, but has declared his full support for the advisors in question. So we can say a signed contract is unimpeachable, and that would make our factories a lot less efficient. Or reform the process, lose political power, and uh, looks like our production, efficient, production efficiency growth would be decreased. All right, we're going to have to do this. So that's like one of the negatives here as Romania, as you, you continually get those events as long as you have this King Carol II's lifestyle. Uh, so that's why you really want to get rid of that, because they are costly. They basically effectively make it so it's very challenging to get anything done. Uh, so we got the support weapons. Uh, we we're almost in 1937, so we go ahead and start working on 1937 techs. And I think that's exactly what we're going to do. Uh, I do want to get that artillery. You know what? We'll do the artillery first. We'll get that bonus since we do have some artillery in our units. Or support artillery, I should say. And we'd eventually like to add some artillery. Oh, yes, that's right. We have that experience. Okay, what we could do, and this would kind of reduce some of our demands for our... Uh, yeah, infantry equipment is we're gonna go ahead and add some artillery here. Uh, oh, yeah, that doesn't decrease the, the infantry equipment. Oh, yes, it will once I pull out this one. Here we go. So we remove that and that should give us a lot more infantry equipment. This gets us up to 22 with so we want to remove a few more of these. All right, so that's gonna get us a lot more infantry equipment back. So that'll be helpful. Uh, we'll need guns, of course, but we're not short on that. Could go ahead and get the support anti-air here, but you know, let's just save this as is. Uh, and we'll see how that affects things. Uh, as far as this division here, I think we're going to take the Mountaineers out and just have 10 width divisions for these guys. Uh, so that'll give us more infantry equipment, more manpower. And uh, we'll be able to build more of these divisions overall. We want to get them support artillery. I suppose we can go and change that now. Uh, so let's go and get that. Save that. And that is all of our experience. So we weren't able to make any adjustments to our tanks, unfortunately. So that'll change, yeah, change the, the, the equipment situation up quite a bit. Uh, now infantry equipment is the shortage is about half of what it was uh, And then obviously we we are kind of stacked on motorized real don't, don't really need to build any more of that, but once we put this uh, uh, the Field hospitals into our division designs. We will need that 
Uh, National focus completed. Royal Guards divisions. Uh, you know, what, before we get this, we'll go ahead and see what this event is about. Anti Common Turn Pact. Uh, so we can join, and I think that's exactly what we're gonna do. Join the pact. Uh, we also have finished. Uh, that's right, because we finished that. We did get this new division here, uh, which is pretty decent. And most importantly, look at their experience level, guys. They are veteran level. It's pretty damn good, uh, even though we can't. Uh, well, we can adjust there. Okay, I was thinking we couldn't adjust it. So yeah, we could adjust it uh, and give them some more support stuff later on uh, that would reduce their experience level. But yeah, we got a, a really good solid division here. So let's just go ahead and throw them into this army again. We're not really worrying about armies or anything like that for right now. I guess we could put the troops on the border here if we wanted to. Might as well. And even give them a planning bonus, even though I'm not going to do anything with them. This is obviously not how this is going to look. But just to get them on the border, just in case something crazy happens. I forgot we get national focus selected. Uh, so let's take a look, see what we want to do. I also want to see how we're doing on the manpower right now uh, in the field. 261, so still a lot left to get. Uh, so let's go and go after the reserve divisions now. Get even more manpower. And yeah, just not able to get any of these guys building just because of a lack of equipment right now, unfortunately. Uh, so hopefully we get that situation dealt with soon. Uh, we got one more civilian factory just finished constructing and so We'll let them build one more and then I think we're gonna start working on military factories guys Because that's a the shortage that we have in factories. It's really making it difficult for us to, to fix these uh, shortages that we're having uh, But we are starting to get the infantry equipment look a lot better we're only 5.6 thousand short now uh, so Hopefully we get that fixed soon. Uh, looking at our ideologies, I haven't shown that yet. Uh, we have 60% not aligned here. Uh, fascist support is 18%, barely any communism support, just 2%, 20% democratic. Uh, and that's another reason to go, uh, you know, with the axis, because you have so little support for the com for the communist initially. So we did get the radios. Uh, we are in 1937. Let's go and start getting 1937 techs. Desperately need to increase our production. And we were able to get through the first year, so that's awesome. Uh, I expected we, we would be able to as a minor power. You have so little stuff that you're doing. Did I not train these guys? Yeah, they're doing naval exercises, but what we didn't do is do the automatic split off. So they're sitting here just waiting for one ship to repair. So get those back out there, get our Navy experience up. Again, it's, uh, you know, <laughs> there's not much we're gonna be able to do with the navies more than likely in this campaign, or at least not until like really, really late. We don't have the experience to add the field hospitals, unfortunately. Uh, so we'll just have to to wait on that, but that'll be the first thing we're gonna be adding to our division designs once we get the 10 experience uh, So let's go ahead and get Thinking construction two here. Yeah, let's get that we can build a little bit quicker and uh, What was it? I was gonna look at oh man. I remember the hell it was there's something I was gonna look at uh, We no longer have the effects of that. Uh, so that's good. That was reducing our production by quite a bit uh, so we should start being able to build. I think it was negative 25%. Uh, we got the reserve division, so even more manpower. Uh, so we could go down the acquire modern tanks. Uh, we're not going to do that right now. Uh, might go down this route. Let me see if there's anything else we can do here. We could go out to the Balkan dominance one, just so that as soon as I have the manpower, we could uh, do that. Uh, though, yeah, it's going to it's gonna be a while. I guess there's no reason to try and rush down that. Uh, we're not building forts yet, so we're not going to get that. Yeah, I think we should just continue down the, the army stuff, get these done. And get us a new general. I don't even know who we have in generals. I guess we'll take a look real quick. Uh, we actually have much better generals uh, than what we're going to get. That's a level 2 general. Uh, but yeah, we got some, some de decent guys here. Uh, he's level 3 hill fighter. I don't actually know who these generals are historically. Honestly, I don't really know much about Romania uh, in the 20th century anyways. You know, obviously my uh, history degree was not focused on 20th century uh, Europe. I believe I only took one class uh, when I was getting my history degree that was about 20th century Europe. Yeah, yeah, just one class. Uh, uh, when I was getting my political science degree, I took quite a few other classes, but again, they weren't really about, about that. They're more about the government of uh, European countries and uh, ideologies and stuff. Uh, so I think we're gonna do anti-tanks here. Now that we need to get those, uh, is there anything else? You know what? Actually, let's get the improved machine tools. Let's focus on industry for right now. Uh, so yeah, definitely not my specialty. Uh, again, uh, when I was getting a history degree, my focus was early modern Europe. So pretty much about up to the Napoleonic Wars. Right about there is where I mainly studied uh, from 
uh, the mid 15th century to the to the uh, Napoleonic Wars. Uh, so let's go ahead get something here. Could go ahead and do Captain of Industry so we can build civilian factories faster, but again, we're going to start working on the military factories here soon, so we won't get that yet. Uh, let's just go ahead and continue getting uh, some... Oh, that's right. These ones are all cheaper. I had forgotten about that. That we were getting this a lot cheaper. Uh, so we'd have to wait a little bit longer if we wanted to get these. I feel like we have to get the research bonuses, though, so we're going to get that next. And uh, we also would like to get the theorists, too. Uh, so they get the land doctrine bonus. Uh, so we research those faster. But I think we're going to start here. And we're going to get the infantry equipment designer. Uh, there's some other good bonuses here. Yeah, some of these aren't too shabby. Uh, you can reduce motorized and mechanized quicker. That would be nice. Uh, increase reliability for them and increase speed for them as well. Wow, that's actually that's actually really good. And these are cheaper too. I almost want to go for one of these two. Maybe we won't go for that yet. Yeah, you know what? We won't. Uh, we're going to do the theorist next. Uh, so we'll save up the 150 bullet power to get the the theorist. And uh, we're going to get the we're going to get the military theorist, guys. Uh, mainly because I just I just want that land doctrine bonus. So we can try and research those a little bit quicker. Uh, speaking of land doctrines, we've got superior firepower. Let's go and continue moving down this. Get the delay. And uh, should hopefully have that bonus soon. And nice. The Civil War ended very quickly. And the Nationalists won. All right. I'm very glad that, that happened. I was a little bit concerned that we're going to find ourselves in a similar situation. And we saw what happened when Germany went to the war with the Soviet Union in 1939 or whatever it was. I think it was 1939. Uh, when the Germans found themselves at war with the Soviets and it did not go well having that many fronts open for the AI So glad that that's not gonna happen this one because kind of messed the whole thing up, honestly uh, Hmm. Oh, yeah, it's still not as fine. I keep getting me This messes me up forever whenever I get like the reduced cost for any of these and then you get the little message Constantly that you can get something and I'm like I'm not sitting at 150 political power yet There we go. All right, so let's go and get the military theorists Research those doctrines a little bit quicker and build up our, our army experience too. Uh, that should be helpful Because uh, yeah, all these guys are currently trained up. Oh, wait a minute. There's one that's not. We'll go and get him training It's not really gonna affect experience at all uh, Another event about the king spoiling his mistress. Uh, king's mistress spotted in Paris French newspapers have been uh, full of the exploits of I'm not even gonna pretend to pronounce her name because I'm probably ruining it uh, Where she has reportedly been indulging in an extensive shopping spree. So this is in Paris uh, while this is not an unusual in itself, reports that she enlisted help from the Romanian emb embassy to move her purchases and told stores to send the bill to the Romanian government have been picked up by the national press. We have been asked to comment on these reports. <laughs> All right. So she acted at the request of the king. Uh, or, you know, it's the same options that we've had. We just had to give up the civilian factories again, guys. It's unfortunate because we almost had this built. Uh, looks like we'll, we'll have it done here soon anyways. Uh, and we did get the Army War College focus. Awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead and get... Uh, what do we want to do next? How are we doing on the equipment? Still short by 3,000. Uh, so none of, none of the equipment has gone to these units just yet. Okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and go with the infantry weapons bonus. The research there. Yeah, let's go with that next. All right. Uh, Hindenburg uh, incident. Uh, and it was avoided. Okay. And the Chinese United Front forms. Uh, and we got our civilian factory... Uh, completed, so let's build a military factory. We're going to build this one over here. We want our military factories as far away from the Soviet border as possible, just in case they are able to push forward. Uh, so the ideal for the defense here is, and of course, the U.S. is going to go with the neutrality branch uh, of their focus tree, so it should be a while before they, they join the conflict here. And then, of course, we've got the Chinese United Frontier, though not everybody's in it just yet. No, not yet. The communists are, though. Uh, so, yeah, what we're going to be doing for the defense guys, are these guys done yet? They are is we're going to... Oh, seems like a lot of units need training. I should have kept that army around then. So let's go and train these guys up. That won't take very long. So we're going to set up uh, fortifications across the line here. This will give us the river bonus as well as the fort bonuses. And, and if they push through, which very well might happen, we're going on another line of fortifications uh, from here to protect. And one advantage, of course, of going this way is that there's less provinces and they have mountains to protect here. Uh, here, it's very easy for them to break through here if they push into the into this Polish territory. So, uh, so more than likely, they probably will take this first line, I would assume. But the idea is that we're going to try and kill as many of them as possible. Again, though, it really depends on how late the war starts. Because uh, if we get strong enough, they won't be able to. 
Now, all of our troops are on this border for right now, uh, but eventually we are going to move them. Uh, obviously, real tension is not high enough for us to do anything, uh, but I would like to get involved with a war with somebody here if we can. Uh, so we got concentrated industry too. Uh, so we are done. Uh, excellent. Uh, so let's go ahead and get what do we have left to get. Uh, so we got the anti-tanks we want to get. Uh, if we want to keep our light tanks up to date, we should probably get the next line of light tanks. And I think that's what we are going to do. Yeah, I think that'd be the best option for us guys. We can keep these guys up to date. You know, we're not building a ton of uh, tanks right now, uh, but we are building a few. And so having more modern tanks, I think would be useful. Uh, one thing we could also do, since we do have the tanks just sitting there and we're trying to get, we could just train one of these. And we're trying to get the, you know, the manpower situation looking better. Uh, as of right now, we only have 29,000 in training. So yeah, 264,000 total, which is not enough. Improved machine tools have been knocked out. So again, we are done there. Uh, so let's go ahead and get, I suppose we can go with, we got the tanks. Yeah, I think we'll probably continue getting support companies even if we can't add them to our units just yet. Uh, I'm not thinking of anything else that we need to get. As far as planes go, guys, I would like to get, I would like to eventually have a little bit of an air force. Uh, but it's not going to be a priority uh, for obvious reasons. We're going to kind of allow the, the Germans to, to do that for us. Uh, so you know what, let's go and get some more support companies. Uh, we're going to want to get the recon. Yeah, let's get the recon next. So we can add that speed. Of course, the other bonuses they grant. Uh, these guys are got done. Let's go and throw them into here. Although, before I get rid of it, let's make sure we don't have other troops that need to train. We do not. All right. Let's throw these guys in here. Stop the training. And go ahead and get excavation two. All right. So let's see how we're doing. So we only have the four factories right now building that military factory. So it's going to take quite a while. We'll get it in October. Uh, and Amelia Earhart uh, lives as well. All right. So... Not getting all the disasters that typically happen. Uh, so we'll likely see her. I mean, we might actually not see her, but she will be a ace pilot for the Americans. All right, so you got the leadership purges in the Soviet Union. And, of course, we got that research bonus for the infantry weapons. Uh, so what are his, uh next? Let's just take a look here. This gives us another mountain uh, mountaineer division. Again, we got to get these divisions... Uh, this will help with having the manpower out in the field. So I think we're going to get that, guys. Let's see what other bonuses we got here. Research speed for support artillery would be great, too. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to get. Not seeing anything else. Yeah, we'll get that. Get us another unit. And maybe we'll do the expand the Air Force next. Get some research bonuses for those for when we do start working on uh, planes. And Japan just declared war in China. So World War II has officially started in Asia. And we can now modify our government. Uh, so I really want to get some more of these designers done. Uh, but let's go ahead and get the Captain Industry next. Let me see what other, the other options are. Non-core manpower. And uh, that'll be really helpful later on. So we'll definitely want to get the Prince of Terror. Right now all of our, our territories are cores, of course. So uh, you know it doesn't help us. But yeah, if we conquer anybody else or get some Soviet territory... Uh, that would be quite beneficial. Uh, so let's go, let's go Captain Industry for right now. Even though I know we're not building any infrastructure or civilian factories at the moment, we eventually will build more. So I suppose we could have gotten uh, one of the military staff knocked out. Uh, that would have been an option. We could also have gone with the tank designer since we are researching tanks. Uh, let me just sit, take a look. Is there any of these require? This one requires uh, a focus to be completed. The mobile tank destroyers. And this gives us... Okay, so these are bonuses for tank destroyers. Let me just take a look at here. We'll probably go with this one, more than likely. Yeah, we'll go with that one. All right, so we now have our civilian factories back. Try and get this done here in September. And, uh, yeah, I think we're going to make it through two years, guys. Awesome. Uh, that's what I was hoping for. That means war might start next episode, uh, but it might not be till episode three as well. Uh, depends uh, when we're actually able to join. Uh, obviously, the Germans will start the war next episode. Uh, but I don't know if we'll be able to join or not. We'll have to see. Uh, just seeing what they're working on right now. Kind of dip around, see what everybody's getting. Although we kind of know what they're going to work on since we do have the historical AI focuses on. So there's not going to be any surprises here, guys. Well, I say that in the last series, we had quite a few surprises. I was uh, not expecting. They're doing the mission in the Soviet Union here. Okay, uh, but yeah, we had quite a few surprises 
Good God, the Americans knocking Japan out that early. That was not expected. All right, let's take a look at our equipment situation. Uh, we now actually have infantry equipment. Excellent. So now the shortage is in artillery, so that's where we'll put the factory. Uh, and that is going to result in some tungsten problems, uh, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and get a, another military factory. Build it here. And we see if there's any... Now we can't pull back our steel trade. We're just going to have to be hit with the, the slower tungsten, guys. Because, uh, yeah, we I really want to get those... Those military factories constructed. How much is it even affecting? I guess we'll take a look and see how much it affects it. Uh, not having the tungsten. It's a 7.5% uh, penalty. That's not too bad. Uh, so we do have the mountain divisions. So we'll go ahead and get those guys assigned. Uh, you need to get the artillery modernization to be able to get mountain artillery. It gets research bonuses, so we'll probably take that. Uh, expand the Air Force. What is this grant? Okay, so we can produce them quicker. Or we could, of course, just acquire licenses if we wanted to go down that route. All right, so let's go ahead and start with the artillery modernization. What's this one, Grant? Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll go with this one, guys. And also get these guys assigned here. And so we are looking at 273,000 once we have the, the units that we have here building. And they actually have their infantry equipment now. So they are ready to be deployed. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's get them deployed here at the capital. I'm gonna play these ones there as well. And they have all their equipment. Uh, so let's go ahead and do a couple more since we do have so many light tanks. So do a couple more, go and deploy those guys. And then uh, let's do, I suppose what we could do is just set them up to build more. Just two more and let's go and deploy. All right, excellent. Uh, so, let's go and get all these guys training up, put them in their own little training army here, and uh, then we'll be able to get it set up so that all of our troops will go here. Uh, so let's give them a garrison order, and we'll have them, I mean, I typically do the naval bases, so that's what we'll do this time. Alright, so you can easily send them out. So they'll get the training, and uh, just looking at it here, we're at 306,000, so we're getting close. Uh, and of course, that's once these guys are done. Uh, King throws a lavish party. Oh, goody. Something else to hit us with the, the penalties. Oh, no, what the penalties are here. We'll read this. Despite being vetted by the king himself, the official coverage of the recent feast at the royal palace has, caught, has caused great public dissent. Pictures of the king's mistress is in an expensive French evening gown, and detailed descriptions of the seven-course meal eaten from golden plates have further inflamed the population, who are still suffering from the after effects of the Great Depression. The king demands we make a public statement. Uh, of support at once. All right, let's just continue doing this one, I guess. Obviously, it does slow down our production quite a bit, which is a shame. Uh, but yeah, I really want to get get these filled out, guys. Uh, it's most importantly, I want to get the uh, design companies filled out so we can uh, research a bit quicker. We'll wait to get to 150, and then again, we're gonna get the uh, the tank designer that makes our light tanks better, increases their armor, uh, increases reliability of all our tanks. And uh, we are currently researching that. It would have been nice to have gotten that before we finish these up. Uh, yeah, what we could always do is stop production. Yeah, and it saves the production. And then, yeah, okay, I got this. This is what we're gonna do. Uh, let's go ahead and get the tank designer now. And then, you know, this doesn't apply as you can see here. Uh, it says it does, because it's not done. You know what, let's make sure though because I've had issues with it in the past. So let's go ahead and change up, and then we'll change again. Just to make sure that they have that design company on them, since you do have to have that before they're finished researching. All right, so that gave us the, the bonus there. Uh, so that's nice that we got that just in time, guys, just in time. Could get some more stuff uh, for uh, this division design. And you know what, I think we will go ahead and do that. So that we have them and we can build them if we want even though we don't really have the military factories to build them uh you know what actually this is what we're going to start on we'll get that eventually uh, but let's go ahead and start on the 1938 competing machines try and get that a little bit i know we're way ahead of time on that one uh, i never did set these guys to train and we could also go ahead and add a another uh, support company and that's what i want to do uh, i wanted to get the field hospitals here so let's go ahead and get that and that'll pull those motorized that we have stacked up uh, and then we got excavation two completed. Uh, so we are done with the industrial techs for right now. Uh, so let's go ahead and see what we'd like to get next. 
Uh, so there's a 1939. Yeah, let's go ahead and go after light self-propelled artillery. And we're going to want to change up our tanks. So we got the newer ones out there. And uh, looks like we're still good on resources for the most part, with the exception of that, that tungsten that the artillery's not getting. And the uh, rubber that the, the motorized is not getting. How are we looking on equipment? Looking pretty decent, still pretty short on uh, the artillery as well as support equipment. Infantry equipment's not too bad though, which is mainly what we need to get these troops training up. Uh, so we got the recon companies. And I think we're probably done here for right now. Yeah, we're done here for right now. Uh, we'll get some stuff a little bit later. Uh, and we do have the research bonuses here. So let's go ahead and get these. Uh, we're gonna get the improved infantry equipment one. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that now. Although I'm getting all this stuff like we're going to have an early war, and very clearly we're not going to. Uh, yeah, it's just, world tension is just not high enough. And uh, artillery modernization has been completed, so now we can get mount, mountain artillery, which gives uh, the artillery and anti-tanks bonuses while moving in mountains. I mean, it's not, uh, it's, it's useful. Uh, I'm not going to say it's not useful at all. Uh, but it's not that useful, really. Basically, that just means our infantry units won't be slowed down as much. Uh, same with our mountain divisions. If we put uh, artillery at, in them, and you know, where they're you know line battalions and not support battalions, so it's 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 beneficial. But yeah, I don't think we're gonna get that right now. I think we're gonna do the research bonus for the anti tanks because we are getting those. I think that's what we'll do. Uh, we do want to get forts building here soon, so we'll get that next after we get this one. Uh, we'll get the modern AT weapons first. And then we'll get the, the fortifications one so we can build the forts faster. And then we'll start going down the expand the Air Force if we don't have the ability uh, to to get these ones yet. Uh, you don't have the manpower. Let me just check one thing real quick. All right, so we already know what that one does. It's a different design company, which I'm okay not getting. Yeah, yeah, we don't need that one either. So yeah, we'll get this one. Get the research bonus for the anti-tanks. Uh, we'll need those against the Soviets. Uh, because I don't know that we'll be getting medium tanks. I don't think we have the... Or at least not early on. I just don't think we have the production to justify it. Uh, so once the, uh, as you can see, they only have light tanks right now. Once the Soviets start getting their industry picking up, they're going to have medium and later heavy tanks. Uh, so yeah, we definitely want to make sure that we, we get those. And I think that's all we're going to do here, guys. Uh, we could go ahead and start building those, but I don't think we can justify it just yet until we've actually added it into a unit. Uh, I'm looking better on a few other things. Uh, so we could go ahead and do support weapons. I think that's what we're gonna do, guys. Yeah, we're done here. Just double checking, because I don't remember what all we've done, what all we haven't done. All right, so yeah, let's go ahead and go with that. Get the support weapons, too. We'll be as up-to-date as possible on our infantry equipment. Uh, again, there's not gonna be an early war, unfortunately, uh, just because real tension is too damn low. That's one of the unfortunates of us being not aligned rather than fascist. And... I don't know if we'll actually go fascist, despite the fact that I'm planning on joining the Axis. Because it's there's a lot you have to do to, in order to, to go down that route as the Romanians. It's a little bit harder to get your fascism increased. They're really kind of designed to, to keep the king in power and go non-aligned. Uh, so we are now getting our civilian factories again. And we only have a little bit more time of the episode. A few more minutes, guys. And then we're going to have to end it. Uh, we did make it through two years, so that was kind of my uh, the optimum goal. Uh, and so I'm glad that we achieved that. And so now the war will definitely start next episode, guys. Yeah, I have no doubt that it'll be starting. Uh, so let's go ahead and get uh, our civilian factories building. That's what we want to get. Probably more military factories. Yeah, we're still pretty, pretty short on military factories, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we'll build one right there. And uh, going to get this military factory assigned. Could go ahead and start doing the light self-propelled self artillery, but we won't. Uh, instead, let's fix uh, some of these shortages that we have, guys. Uh, we're even going to pull from infantry equipment, put it into artillery. Uh, just kind of deal with the shortages. And uh, the tungsten, we're going to need to trade for that now because the penalty is going to be about 10% or so. So let's go ahead and trade with, well, trying to see who the best trade with would be. I guess we could trade with the Japanese, kind of help them out. Yeah, because there's really nobody else here that is going to be somewhat of an ally. Uh, we got improved infantry equipment one. Uh, so we are done here for right now. Uh, there is a research button bonus for the mountain infantry, which result in us getting it fairly quicker. Uh, much, much quicker than we would. It's so ahead of time, though, guys. I don't think it's worth it. 
even though we do have a good deal of mountain troops. Uh, yeah, I just don't think that it's worth going for 1939 techs. We did fly through uh, all the techs I wanted to get. Uh, so, oh, we still need anti-tanks. We'll get that. Uh, but that does mean that, that we'll probably start getting planes next, guys. Start researching more modern planes. Uh, so, what do we want to get here? So we have our political visor, Prince of Terror. Uh, we don't need that just yet. Uh, we're still good on manpower, so we won't change up conscription laws. I think we're going to start working on our military staff now. Yeah, like army offense. See what other options there are uh, available to us. Here, there's only four options. So, yeah, it's pretty clear what we'll likely go for. I think we're going to start with him, of course, because he gets the 10% attack and 15% defense. Much higher than either of those, and you get both bonuses. Let's go and get that first. And we should have a pretty solid infantry attack and defense overall. Uh, shouldn't be too shabby, uh, which very good because that's mainly what we're, troops are going to be relying on. Uh, so really, really short on that artillery. It's going to take a while to get that fixed. Uh, and Austria has been annexed. Uh, we've got the modern anti-tank guns. Uh, so let me just see what else we can do here. Uh, we couldn't do this one before because real tension wasn't high enough. We could do that, and that would get rid of the uh, King Carol II's lifestyle, so these damn events that keep firing. However, there's another way to get that, and that's going down this route. And this is the route I want to go, and you can't do this unless King Carol is the ruler. So if we want to go down this route, then we can't do King Michael's coup. So we're just going to have to keep taking the penalties. Uh, oh, we do need to pick a national focus, though. Uh, so we're going to go with... Let me just see. I think we're going to go ahead and get that, that Balkan one over there, just so I have it. Yeah, so that we have it for when we uh, finally get our manpower. Uh, where we need to be, we're at 329,000, if you count the training troops. Uh, so, we do have infantry equipment, spare infantry equipment. So let's go ahead and deploy these guys. Let's build a couple more. Alright, so that looks good. Let's deploy them as well. Uh, let's get another tank unit. There we go. Alright, so that puts us at 351,000. Only about 49,000 left to go. Of course, that's with them all deployed. And did I not put these guys... Oh, I did not set it up. I thought I did. My bad, guys. Let's put these guys over here. Oh, all these guys need to train, don't they? All right, let's go ahead and put them in the train and everything. I'm trying to keep it in my head that we need to set up the uh, troops to go in the training army as soon as they're done. Yeah, that's right. We did change up these division designs, so that's the reason why they need to get retrained. Uh, so let's go and do this now. Set these guys to go into the training army as soon as they finish up. Hungary demands the right to rearm. Citing the ever-worsening political situation in Europe and the complete failure of the League of Nations to stop this, uh, Miklos Horthy has publicly announced that his government will seek to support the secure the support of neighboring nations to allow for the revision of the Treaty of Trianon. Uh, hopefully, I pronounced that right. Uh, pronounced that right. Uh, without mentioning territorial claims, Miklos Horthy discussed only the restrictions on the Hungarian military. A delegation from Hungary has arrived in our capital to secure a formal agreement to the Hungarian rearmament. Let's see what we're going to do here. So, they're probably going to be an ally, more than likely. Uh, I was hoping to, to get an early war against somebody. Uh, probably not going to happen. Uh, so, we could just go ahead and do this. Uh, they plunge the world. And, yeah, I think we're just going to go ahead and let them rearm. Uh, because more than likely, they're going to be an ally. And, of course, that treaty is the treaty with the Hungarians at the end of World War I. Since every country and the Central Powers did have their own separate treaty... That kind of decided what was going to happen with them. And we got delay. Uh, so let's go ahead and go after the mobile defense. And that's the one we really want here. That extra defense for all of our infantry divisions. 20%. That's a massive bonus. Uh, it's going to be incredibly impactful here on this line against the Soviets. Uh, we should probably have a lot of troops done training, I would assume. Yeah, so let's go ahead and take all these guys, put them back. Ooh, Lord. Um, might be quicker to... Yeah, you know what? It'd be quicker to just deselect the ones that aren't done training. Let's go and do that then. All right, and do they have their manpower? They do. All right, so let's go and throw them back into that army. All right, excellent. There's a few troops left training over here. And uh, let's take a look and see if these guys are ready to deploy. Not yet, because uh, yeah, we want to get, there we go. We're just going to deploy them, even though they're not fully done yet. And let's go ahead and uh, let's just do it like that. We can always adjust it. Same thing here. All right, so sitting at 378,000 once all these troops are done. So still not quite enough, guys. Uh, and you can see the infantry equipment situation is getting kind of bad now. Yeah, 
us trying to pump these troops out so quickly. Let's get these guys deployed over here. Oh. And God damn, that's a third villa she done purchased, guys. <laughs> All right. Uh, so uh, let's go ahead and just go with that one. That's fine. Obviously, it's not fine, but but I feel like we got to get the. I want to get these filled out. So. All right, so that is actually going to be the end of the episode. We did make a solid two years and a few months here, so really good timing overall. So I think uh, the war will definitely start next episode. I don't know that we'll be able to join. I uh, hope so. Uh, the world tension will at least be high enough where I might be able to try and justify against one of these countries. The one problem, though, is we need to be in the Axis before we do it if we attack, like, let's say, the Bulgarians. Uh, because the Bulgarians will join the Axis, which will result in us going to war with the Axis, and then we'll be at war with both the Axis and the Comintern. Now, I thought about going that right, route, uh, having our own faction, since we can create a faction. So I thought about doing that, uh, doing our own faction, just kind of uniting all the Balkans uh, under our control. That would most likely result in us fighting all three factions all alone, though. <laughs> that would be an extremely long uh, campaign, and I don't really know how popular this one's going to be, uh, because it's a minor power, which typically aren't as popular on the channel. So yeah, I didn't want to do a, another 40, 50 video series. So that's the reason why I didn't do it. Because as I said, there's no way to avoid war with the Axis and the Comintern and the Allies, I think, if you go that route. I think we'd end up war with all three of them. So that's the reason why I didn't do my own faction uh, this time. Uh, but I thought about it. So I thought it would be interesting. Um, but we'll try and conquer somebody. Um, we have to get into the Axis and then uh, at the very least we'll be able to conquer some Yugoslavian territory. Uh, but I'd really like to, to go to war with... Again, it's probably not going to be the, the uh, Hungarians. I assume they'll join. Oops. Where the hell they at? There we go. I assume they'll join the Axis first. So it probably won't be with them. But maybe with the Bulgarians. We might be able to get a little quick war. Not a lot here, guys. A little bit of aluminum there. <laughs> yeah, there's not much here. Some factories, though. Uh, if you looked at them total, they have uh, six military factories and about 10 to 11 civilian factories. So that's the main reason why we'd want to go with the war with them. But that also gives us borders with the Greeks and the uh, the Turks so that we can declare war on them once we get these uh, focuses here. Uh, so yeah, I would like to, uh, if we can, uh, conquer the Bulgarians uh, before uh, they join the Axis. So we're going to try and make that happen uh, next episode. Uh, so if you enjoyed this one, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. I do read and reply to all comments. Love talking to you guys. And all those things, those comments, those likes, uh, those, all those interactions, uh, do help with the search engine, help people find our channel, so I appreciate it. Uh, if you're looking for any links, and check down in the description of any of our videos. You'll find links to our social media, Twitter and Facebook, if you'd like to follow us on there, Instagram. Uh, you also find links to our Discord channel, if you'd like to join our community there. And you'll find links to our PayPal and Patreon, if you'd like to help support the channel. If you're looking for anything to watch uh, in between videos, we will have one video every day, with the exception of Mondays. I don't know if we'll have one this Monday. I'm gonna try, guys. I'm gonna try and have one this Monday. I'm gonna try and record two on Saturday so that we can have one on Monday since this is a new series. Uh, but after this upcoming Monday, there will not be videos on Monday since I do work all day on Sunday. And so uh, we have one video a day for, for each series. And uh, if that's not enough for you, then go check out the front page of our channel. We've got 2,000 something videos, all sorted by genre, including a section just for Hearts of Iron 4 videos uh, or series. Uh, we've done like 20-something uh, Hoi 4 campaigns. Uh, so you should be able to find something that you'd enjoy watching while you wait for the next episode. So I do hope to see you on Sunday's episode, and uh, thanks for watching.